What's up guys, this is QTV lesson number 73, the song Slow Cheetah by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. And first up, the song is in standard tuning and we don't need any distortion at all. So let's get started with the intro right away, which is also the first and should sound like this. <laughs> While I'm showing you how to play this riff step by step, we won't focus on duration of each note because if you've listened uh, a few times to the song, you will know how long to hold each note. And now I'm going to show you how the riff works. First, we put our first finger on the sixth on the sixth string. Now we put our third finger on the eighth on the fourth string. Pick it once as well and the 6th string again. So Now we put our 2nd finger on the 3rd string on the 6th fret. And we pick it once and then the 6th string again. So we pick 6th string, 4th string, 6th string, 3rd string, 6th string. this first finger now on the fourth on the fifth string third finger the sixth on the fourth string and pinky on the sixth on the third string we're going to pick five four five three five five four five three five so so far we've got Slide on to the sixth with our first finger on the fifth string. Pick it once again. Now a third finger goes on to the eighth on the third string. Fifth string again. Now a second finger on the sixth on the second string. And fifth again. So we get. So, so far we've got. With our first finger on the fourth on the fourth string, third finger on to the sixth on the third, fourth string again, and now pinky on the sixth on the first string, and fourth string again. So and that's your whole riff. got a second riff in the first and that should sound like this we start off with our first finger on the sixth on the sixth string again now we put our third finger on the eighth on the first string pick the sixth again and now our second finger goes into the sixth on the first string and sixth string again so we get Third finger on the ninth on the sixth string, pinky on the ninth on the second string, sixth string again, first finger on the sixth on the second string, and sixth string again. So we get so so far we've got. Now we put our first finger on the sixth on the fifth string eighth on the uh, third finger on the eighth on the third string fifth string again and second finger on the sixth on the third string and fifth string again so we get and last we put our third finger on the ninth on the fifth string and our second finger on the eighth on the fourth string 
pick the not, uh, fifth string, fourth string, fifth string, first finger on the sixth on the fourth string, and ninth on the fifth again. So. Your whole riff. The pre chorus is actually just this one chord. Our first finger has to be put over the sixth on the fifth to the first string, and the third finger goes on to the eighth on the fourth string, and pinky on the eighth on the third string. So we get this sound. And be careful to mute the sixth string by touching it with your first finger. And the rhythm is down. Down, up, down, up, up, down, down. Down, down, up, down, up, up, down, down. And that's already the pre chorus. Next up is the chorus sounding like this. first finger on the fourth over the fifth and fourth string now third finger on the sixth on the third string and pinky on the seventh on the second string and we pick down down then we mute the strings so we put our fingers over the strings and touch them but don't push the fingers down onto the frets so we put our pinky simply from here to here next to our third finger onto the sixth on the thir uh, third string and we go down 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 so we get and then we slide up onto the sixth and eighth and put our second finger onto the seventh on the second string and go down 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 up down 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 so four times so we get in the end we add an up to a last chord in order to repeat this riff so the riff repeated twice should sound like this the whole chorus. There are still two parts left which are the interlude and the outro and the interlude should sound like this. So first we put our third finger on the ninth on the sixth string, now second finger on the eighth on the fifth string, First string on the sixth on the fourth string, third finger back onto the eighth on the fifth, so we get now we put a first finger over the fourth, third, and second string on the sixth fret, pick third string, fourth string, and now second string, third string, fourth string. So we get so far we've got Now we put our first finger on the 6th on the 5th string Pick it once Then we put our 3rd finger on the 8th over the 4th and 3rd string Pick 4th string, 3rd string, 4th string First finger on the sixth on the second string, third finger back onto the eighth on the fourth string, second finger on the seventh on the second string, lift it off, pick the uh, sixth on the second string with your first finger. So, so far we've got. And 
third finger back onto the eighth and the fourth string. So the second part of this riff should sound like this. And that's the whole interlude. In the outro we've got two main riffs and get to experiment a little with them. So I'm going to show you how to play these two main riffs. And then it's up to you uh, how you play them and whether you add notes or not. And that's kind of the fun part about this outro. And this is how it works. First we put our third finger on the ninth on the second string. First string and the sixth on the first string. Ninth on the second again. Now we put our first finger on the third and fourth string on the sixth. Pick four, uh, third and then fourth. So, so far we've got now a third again. Now we put our first finger on the sixth on the second string. Pick it once and put our third finger on the eighth over the fourth and third string and pick those two together. And we do this twice. So and that's the whole first riff. And the second main riff of the outro should sound like this. First, we put our third finger on the sixth over the third and fourth string. Pick third, fourth, third twice. Now, first finger on the fourth on the fifth string. Sixth on the third again. So we get. to the sixth our first finger on the fifth string third finger on the eighth on the fourth string so we get now we put our first finger on the sixth on the second string pick it hammer the second finger on and lift it back off immediately so Put your third finger on the eighth on the third string. So we get. And those are the two main riffs of the outro. Feel free to experiment with them as he does. And that's already it. I hope you guys liked this video. Leave a thumbs up if you did. Helps me a lot. Keep on subscribing, and I hope I will see you next time.